woke up early this morning to check Lowe's, their website for about the 20th time to see if they put out their Halloween inflatables. Still showing 80 results, that's telling me. Still nothing, just all these remakes. Now, it's August 6th. Normally, I mean, not normally, but like last year, I know that they were already out. I don't know if the image was out, but I know that they had put out the listings and on like June 26th or something around there, we already knew practically like the entire lineup. So that's kind of what's frustrating me. I mean, we know some of the lineup, but not all of it. Like those assortment descriptions were not the entire lineup. Now I also like didn't just wake up earlier this morning to check Lowe's. I wanted to check the status of my Jack Skellington prototype inflatable. By the time that review comes out, this vlog and the review itself, they're gonna be old news, but right now it's not old news to me. I'm really excited for it. You can see Thursday, 8.06, loaded on delivery vehicle, meaning it's definitely gonna to come today. So pretty stoked about that. So my order just came. This is the 10 foot Pumpkin King and the nine foot Jack on Mountain. Got this from Yard Inflatables. And the first thing I noticed when I looked at the shipping box was that it said animated projection, air blown kaleidoscope, nightmare before Christmas scene, giant Disney RBP party city. Now, my guess is that because I ordered this as soon as I got the email that the Jack on Mountain came back in stock. So my guess is that they got the shipment in in that they used actually the box that they got the Jack on Mountain in because if you look, you can see it says two pieces. Now I don't think it's I don't think it's just that like okay I ordered two inflatables and they came in this one box and that's two pieces. I think that the two pieces are actually two of these because if you turn the box around, it nowhere near like nowhere it says ten foot pumpkin king. It only says the kaleidoscope Jack on Mountain. So I think that that's what they used for this uh, order. They just decided to use this box again, which I think is actually pretty clever on their part and I don't mind it, but I'm gonna go ahead and open this thing up because I am dying to look at what's inside. Whoops. All right. So by the way, this paper cut right here um, is a paper cut. I did not cut myself with this, even though I'm still not very good at using this box cutter. Be sure not to cut any box that's inside. Good lord, I'm so bad at this. Alright. Oh, that looks like it's already cut. Alright, there we go. That should be good. Go ahead and set this down. There it is. This thing is like, holy crap, like there is no wiggle room whatsoever. Like I, I can't even stick my finger in there. Holy crap. So retail box, not retail box. I wasn't expecting a retail box with the Pumpkin King because I've never, I've never actually seen one. Let's see the card, oh wait, that's a sticker. There was a card, yeah, there's a card, okay. So this must be their new card because they didn't have that in stock before, and I don't remember getting one that looked like this, so this must be their new card. This is probably my address on it. Crumple that. So I'm probably going to have to pause this video because there's no way I could hold the camera and get both these out. Okay, so got them out of the box. Kind of just displaying them side by side right here. We'll start with this one. The box art on this inflatable is absolutely incredible. This is the 2020 Nightmare Before Christmas box design. You can see that facial expression on Jack. Zero's head moves side to side, really cool. Uh, nine feet tall. I'll show you the um, 2020 little description thing. You can see it's right there. So this will be the version that sold at Lowe's this year. I'm pretty sure that 
the art inflatables might have gotten them in stock early just because it's going to be a remake, you know, they're not going to get an inflatable that's completely new. A remake would be, or at least it would make more sense to get early, at least in my opinion, I would think so. Here's the 10-foot pumpkin king. Really excited about this one, but I'm actually a little bit more excited about this one, or at least I was, just to be able to have the new 2020 box art. I'm excited for the kaleidoscope in the head because I've seen the videos of it, and it really, like, it's very powerful. And the kaleidoscope in this is absolutely amazing. So these both inflatables have amazing kaleidoscopes. 10 feet tall, 9 feet tall. It'll be interesting to see which one I actually like better. I mean, this one's taller, but this one has an animated feature. It's got the beautiful, like, fuchsia purple-pink kaleidoscope, and then also has the jack on top, which I think is absolutely hilarious. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this shipping unboxing for the vlog. Like, it took me a minute to realize, oh wait, I'm filming this for the vlog, you know? But, um, yeah, I'll move on to the next clip, I guess, whatever that is. I don't know what it's gonna be at this point. I wanted to get this quick vlog clip before I, like, completely disassemble my background, so in case you were wondering what the Q&A setup looked like, uh, here you go. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I do have the cheap fans up there. Unfortunately, you could not see them in the actual Q&A video just because of, like, the proportions, so... This is what it looks like if you were curious about it. I finally finished it. It's taken me forever because I've just been really busy with YouTube and editing videos, which, I mean, it's fine. I like being busy like that, but that's the reason why it's taken me so long to complete this. It's a very cool build, very happy with it, and I'm pretty excited to go display it. Okay, so I went to Walmart today in hopes that they would have their Halloween stuff. They didn't have any. I went to Home Depot because I was like, all right, well, they're definitely going to have their Halloween stuff out because a lot of Home Depots right now are getting their Halloween decor out. And turns out they had made zero progress. So I kind of felt bad. I wanted to get myself a uh, consolation prize. So here it is. I went to Lowe's because I, I was just like kind of pitying myself. I was like, I got to get something. So um, this is the five and a half foot short circuit crawling skeleton. I was going to get this one anyways, but um, I wasn't planning it on getting this one this soon, but it's very cool and it definitely makes me happy. I was, I got kind of like sad that Home Depot and Walmart had zero stuff, so went to Lowe's and got this one. So it's kind of like my uh, my pity purchase, if you want to call it something. Just got done filming the uh, spider review, so now I'm going to put it away in the dark. Yay! I'm sure you can tell I'm very enthused by that. I hate putting away inflatables in the dark, it's so annoying because you can barely see and then you have to rely on an iPhone flashlight to aid you and yeah, it's just, it's not the most fun process, I can assure you that. Pure carnage. Whoa, someone, someone, oh, there they go. Don't throw the yellow, don't throw the yellow. Please don't throw the caution. Don't throw the caution. Don't throw the caution, please. Don't throw the yellow. Oh my God, it's gonna be three white fin. Oh, wrecking the back. Still don't throw the yellow. Please don't throw the caution. Please don't throw the caution. Please don't throw the caution. Oh my God, Byron's gonna win. Oh. They wrecked like five times. That was his first ever win, too. Remake! Oh, 
the radio, like, you can't understand, oh, there's, oh, wow, holy crap. He needs to get out of that car. There was a big wreck behind them, too. They wrecked, like, once in turn one, and then they wrecked again, and then in turn three they wrecked again. And then I think they wrecked again in turn four. I think they wrecked it, I think they managed to wreck it every turn on the final lap. I'm pretty sure. Holy crap. So I think this is the third wreck. I'm pretty sure. Oh, wow. Pounded the wall. Okay, this is the first... Okay, so they're wrecking there. That's the first wreck. And then they wrecked, like, over there. Man, it's killed. Okay, so this is the third wreck, I think. There it is. Oh, okay. That's where they got their damage. No one flipped or anything. No one even got, like, off the ground in this race. Which is a little disappointing. You know, you want to show. But, I mean, this was a really good show. I mean, congrats to him, you know. To get his first career win, that's pretty cool. I don't like Hendrick Motorsports. I'm not a Hendrick Motorsports guy, but it's still cool to get your first career win and to watch it, you know. But, um, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. Peace out.